The green lantern's light. Ooh, it's actually fixing. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Stargirl. Episode 10, Summer School, Chapter 10. It's been mad interesting, but the past couple, three episodes, we've been dealing with Eclipso's ability to just mess with people. <laughs> I wonder if we're still going to go down this route like three episodes deep or we're actually going to get the team to reunite these last three, four episodes until the last showdown with the big bad because we still got something that's happening with uh, Shade, uh, Dr. Midnight is still in the Shadow, shadow Realm, uh, the Starman storyline also hasn't gone anywhere with him still being alive. Rick is still in prison and think his court case court case. Yolanda is in self-isolation. Um Courtney and the staff are not working. They still need to finish stripes, fixing him especially. Um there's so much that's happening actually. But anyway, I'm just wasting time right now reminding you about stuff. That you already know. Let's dive right in. To the 10th episode. Decades ago. It's the garage. Oh, it's after they killed the host. Like, I'm sorry. You're an accomplice to murder. Here's some beer. Again, it's weird seeing Joe Melchior play such a serious person. <laughs> Why are you reminding him? He was there. <laughs> How old was Pat compared to Starman? Damn. Rich kids' problems. Parents are out here making that money that's making you rich and not being parents. Is he gonna give Pat that watch? Pat is just taking in all these compliments and not saying shit. Pat, you are my family. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> So the speech and the beer worked. Summer school. Yeah, Courtney has no leg to stand on judging them for killing somebody when she was covering for Yolanda for killing somebody. It's on you. Did she forget? Is he back? The shade. What a grand entrance. Dude is injured, injured. Since episode six, seven there. <laughs> They're doing a team up. So they gotta fix the diamond. God damn, they are arguing about petty stuff. So Eclipso can't be defeated, it has to be contained. Power of light? Oh, he said light. Oh. <laughs> the stuff is back to normal? This is so many episodes where they are this this what what word am I looking for? Disconfigured? Disfigured? No, they're not disfigured. <laughs> anyway. Is she actually gonna try explain it to her parents? No. Damn, she got you there. Beth's got major confidence now. You didn't see those glasses glow? I'm liking this new Beth. Beth should help Rick. They got closer this season. It's only poetic that way. The amount of time Courtney broke they trust. Don't feel bad. Team I up. They are building the team back up. Well, Them arguing is so pointless. He didn't think murder was okay. Why is he only explaining this portion of the story now? Oh, she was not listening. She just heard death. Wait. Now she's blaming Yolanda quitting on the team on Pat. Like I respect Courtney's morals and but goddamn she's a, she's two teenagers who be a good leader of a group. Sometimes you gotta be bad man with it. Lead with logic. Rick in jail. Is that Grundy? 
Oh, he's bringing him apples now. Oh, that's so cute. Eat the apples, man. They sound bussin' bussin'. <laughs> this dude just randomly gonna answer that question, the dip. I made a vow not to take a life, then dips. He's inside the Shadow Realm, and the Shadow Realm is on top of the couch, taking a nap right now. They're still hiding secrets from each other. Where are they driving to? So now they're investigating fires? Oh, Gina is the Green Lantern starter. I totally forgot about her. The Justice Society of America. You sitting... She's sitting next to the Shadow Realm. He saved you? So he's lost in the Shadow Realm? He's not... He wasn't trapped there? You're getting some shade. Origin. The Man of Tears. Damn. This how he became immortal? Emily? Dude's been alive for so many years, he still hasn't dealt with the trauma of his own family. God damn. Why the class is still glitching though? Hey, it's the old base. They really utilize in the set, yo. No dust anywhere. Courtney's full blown fangirling right now. There's a bag. Oh, it could be Starman. Okay, nope, Starman wouldn't be researching this. Oh, she's searching for her brother, her kin. Does he even know what he's doing? Tell me he was fixing a, a, a robot and thinking it was like Legos. Oh, it's the pen dude. Is he gonna get the pen back? So basically the sister been burning orphanages. Offenages. Offenages. <laughs> Trying to find her brother and they found him this quick. Did they say she's here but her brother's not? What happened to her brother? She's too powerful for them to leave her. All of them need emotional training. No, like she looks calm, but the sound of her eyes are the ones that are making it seem not calm. Protect your family. Bunch of siblings causing a ruckus. Trying to find each other. Damn, this woman actually knows something. It's her head nurse. Damn, is she selling kids? So the kid is reaching for giant candy canes and stuff? Mike wanted to be a hero. The kid just wanted candy. Damn, dude turned his whole house. <laughs> oh, is this even his house? How is Beth reading all this glitching so much? Is Shani actually gonna fix it? The Green Lantern's light. Ooh, it's actually fixing. What's happening to the shade now? Was the shade lying to them? What is happening? Damn, the shade used them. They legit summoned him. Damn. Damn, she, he's actually getting affected by the ring. Oh, never mind. He's basically pitch slapping all of them one by one. Oh, Courtney. She's gonna have to team up with Sydney Berman and escape to whoever he sent Sydney. So, Courtney's gone, taken by the Shadow Realm, by Eclipse himself. So, he, he, this dude is basically fucking with people to fuck with people. If he can take people to Shadow Realms and like kill them with a flick of the wrist. And interesting, interesting turn of events though. Courtney's gonna have to team up with her worst enemy, essentially. So she'll come back to the world of the living. And I thought 
these episodes are about to be a bunch of episodes where they're putting the team back together, but they're more separated than ever now. Maybe that's what they wanted me to believe then. So the ending will be as shocking as it is now. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Yo, this recording was lagging so much. I hopefully I can cut out the laggy parts and it'll still make sense. But anyway, if I can't, sorry for the lag. Deuces. <laughs>